Hi, I'm going to be showing you how to use our rustic wicker mould. This is perfect for creating rustic wedding cakes or naked cakes really quickly. It's a really detailed, authentic looking mould, so you get a really realistic design. With all our moulds, we dust them with corn flour first. This stops your sugar paste from sticking. And then you just tap out any excess. We have our own brand of sugar paste, the Karen Davis sugar paste. It comes in two flavours, vanilla or marshmallow. Now these work perfectly with the moulds, so you don't need to add anything to them. They work straight from the packet. Um, all we say is that if you prefer using other brands of sugar paste, um, that we tend to ask people to firm them up with a little bit of Tylo powder or CMC. This is just because um, some brands are quite tacky. So it depends which brand you use, how much powder you'll have to add. So here I've just got some of our sugar paste that I've coloured this hay wicker colour. So before I place it into the mould, I just want to roll it out till it's roughly the same size uh, width and length as the mould, like that. So now I'm just going to place my paste on top and to begin with I just want to press the paste down into the start of the mould and this will hold it into position while we roll it out, like that. So now I'm just going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to roll across nice and firmly until you can begin to see the pattern through the back of your paste. So just continue all the way along and once you get to the end, if you just continue to roll over the top of the mould like that, your paste will tear off and then you can just use your fingers to drag your paste so that it's not hanging over the edges of the wicker. Like that. So once you're happy, you just want to turn your mould over and peel it back. then take a cutting wheel and you can just cut a straight line along the edge there to get rid of your excess. Like that. So now to finish, all I'm going to do, if you just dust, dust away the excess corn flour I've got left on there, then I've just got some brown powder colour and all I'm going to do is just add a bit of shadow using the brown just where the wicker is at its deepest and it just makes the effect look really detailed So you don't have to do it all over the moulds, just in certain areas, and I'm only doing it roughly. And then finally, to finish, if you just take a bit of white powder colour, you can just add a few highlights over the raised areas. And again, this just adds a bit of depth and gives it a more realistic look. Like that. And then to finish, I just like to give it a light mist using this clear glaze spray. Like that. 
and that just really brings out the detail and gives it a real, really realistic look. So as you can see, it's really easy to handle. So I'm just going to cut this in half to show what you do to disguise the joins when you come to attaching it to your cake. So as you can see, one end of the mould has been made thinner and one end has been made thicker. So is when you come to attaching it, you just put a little bit of edible glue and then you can hardly see the join as it is. So if you wish to disguise it further, you just use a Dresden tool to gently stroke the wicker down like that. And that disguises any joins. I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you want to see any more of our videos please visit our YouTube channel or our website www.karendaviscakes.co.uk